my name is Leland Jung. I'm a student docent at City College of San Francisco. This is the fourth video in our series of videos about the Diego Rivera Pan American Unity mural. In our series, we play detective and look for clues in the mural for the surrealism movement and social revolution. In this video, we're going to look at the yin yang symbol, a symbol used in Chinese philosophy and see if Rivera is using it as a secret symbol for the Surrealism movement and social revolution. In the second video of our series, we showed the mural's composition is very similar to a Surrealism print Rivera did called Communicating Vessels. Surrealism was based on Dada, an art movement that was anti-war and anti-capitalist. It also included Sigmund Freud's theories in psychoanalysis and wanted direct political action, but it may have drawn from other sources. Rivera's print, Communicating Vessels, was based on an André Breton essay with the same name. André Breton was the co-founder of the Surrealism movement. In his essay, he said, he hoped Surrealism could be a connection between worlds that were separated for far too long, like the worlds of waking and sleeping. Reason and Madness, Interior and Exterior Reality, and Life for Life and Life for Revolution. There seems to be similarities with the Chinese concept of yin and yang, where there's importance in having a balance of opposites like yin in black and yang in white. The Chinese philosophy of yin and yang means the body is healthy if both yin and yang are in balance. If we have too much yang or too much yin, our body will become ill. Breton's essay was based on a science experiment where two vessels filled with different amounts of fluid become equal when they're connected. The Surrealism movement attempted to be that connection, a connection that would create a balance and a harmony. Note the obvious visual similarities between the yin-yang diagram and the communicating vessels experiment diagram. Let's look at the mural now. According to Diego Rivera, the mural represented the marriage of the artistic expression of the North and the South on this continent. North and South are opposites, different worlds, or yin and yang. The left side of the mural represents the North, where the focus is the United States. In this section of the mural, we can see an emphasis on expansionism, technology, and industrialism. In this lower section of the mural, there's an emphasis on inventors and industrialists. We have images of Henry Ford and Thomas Edison. As we move toward the center of the mural, we see scenes of war and violence. Let's look at the other side of the mural now. Let's look at the south of the continent. This, this side of the mural, the left side, represents the south of the continent. Unlike the north, which had an emphasis on technology, expansionism, and industrialism, this side has an emphasis on religion, the performing arts, the plastic arts, and fighting for freedom and liberty. Let's look closer. In this section, we travel into the past, to the time of the ancient Aztecs. We have a religious scene here, performing artists and artisans. In this section, we have an Aztec poet king. He was also an inventor and supposedly created this flying machine. 
As we move towards center, we see more artisans doing metal work. In this section, we're moving in time to closer to the present, to the 1940s. We see artisans dressed in 1940 clothing now. And who's this in the background? It's Diego Rivera. And he's painting a mural in the mural. He's painted the Liberty Tree in the background. And over here we have liberators from the north and liberators from the south. Let's move to the center of the panel now. In the center of the mural, we have different worlds meeting. We have Frida Kahlo, a woman painting. To the right of her, we have two men from the north. In the center of the panel, we have an adult couple, a man from the south and a woman from the north. We also have two children, a little girl from the south and a little boy from the north. Different worlds connecting. By the way, the man is Diego Rivera. This is the second time he's in the mural. As we move upwards, we have a man dressed in light clothing swinging an axe above his head. And to his right, we have a man dressed in darker clothing swinging an axe below his waist. Wait, well, what's this in the background? It's like a crazy combination of images like surrealistic art. Let's look closer. On the right side, there's a machine, actually a stamping machine, from a Ford automobile plant. On the left side, there's an Aztec goddess, the goddess of death and earth, Coatli Kwe. This juxtaposition of unrelated images is common in surrealism. Just behind the wooden ram sculpture, there's an image of a man's face with one eye closed and one eye opened. Where have we seen that before? Right, in the communicating vessels print, we have two eyes on top of the glasses. One eye is closed and the other eye open. Let's look at that head again. One side of the face is white and the other side is darker. The colors are similar to the yin-yang symbol. If we rotate the yin-yang symbol, we can see the similarities between the head and the yin-yang symbol more easily now. In the white section, we have a black dot, and that could represent an eye closed. And in the black section, we have a white dot, and that could represent an eye opened. Even more interesting, in a surrealism print Rivera did in 1946, Frida Kahlo is seen holding a yin-yang symbol. This is often interpreted to symbolize the opposites, man and woman, with Kahlo representing women and Diego Rivera drawn as a boy, man. But what if the yin-yang symbol really means the surrealism movement and social revolution? Here's the full image of that 1946 mural. It's called Dream of a Sunday Afternoon in the Alameda Central. It's a surrealism mural, of course. Here's an enlarged version of the mural. We can see Kahlo and Rivera are outlined with the white box. The yin-yang symbol, therefore, may have been a secret message for the surrealism movement and social revolution in Diego Rivera's Pan-American Unity mural. This concludes our fourth video. In this video, we looked at the yin-yang symbol, a symbol used in Chinese philosophy. We played detective and tried to find out if Rivera used the symbol as a secret symbol for the surrealism movement and social revolution. In our next video, we'll be looking at the Tree of Life. Stay tuned. 
This is Leland Jung, a student Diego Rivera docent at City College of San Francisco.